This is problem number 18 from the January 2015 Algebra Regents exam. So they're giving us two different functions in this problem, and um, they're being graphed, and we need to find out which statement is true about the solution to the system of equations. Remembering that a solution to a system of equations uh, graphically is where both of these uh, functions are, um, intersect each other, the point where they intersect each other. So the question is basically asking us to find out what is the solution to this. But because it's multiple choice, we can kind of guess and check. So um, the first thing we need to do, though, is rewrite 3x plus 3y equals 27 um, in terms of y, to get isolate y by itself. And um, it looks like all three of these are divisible by 3. So we're going to divide everything by 3, and we'd get x plus y equals tw uh, 9. And then that means y is going to be equal to negative x plus 9, or 9 minus x, either way is good. So let's create a, a little table here. And so these will be different x values. Uh, this one of the first will be the first function, x, the absolute value of x minus 3, and then negative x plus 9. And to find a solution to the system of and that means we're looking for an x value that gives us the same y value because that would translate to being, becoming the same point as if as they were graphed. So the first one says 3, 0 is the solution. So that means we're going to replace x with 0. Let's see what happens. This would be the absolute value of 0 minus 3, which is 0 minus 3 is negative 3. The absolute value of that would be 3. And then uh, negative x plus 9, negative 0 plus 9, is positive 9. So we can see this doesn't work. We do not get the same um, solution. The next point is 9, 0. Let's test that one out. So we're going to have an x value of 9. And then the absolute value of 9 minus 3, which is positive 6. And then for this one, it would be negative 9 plus 9 and that's zero. Again, doesn't work. Okay, let's try the third one. Uh, six, three. We're gonna place, that means we're gonna replace x with six. The absolute value of six minus three is three, and then negative six plus nine gets us three as well. And look at that, exactly what we were looking for. Six, three works here, and six, three as well in both. Therefore, the correct answer is option number Three. All right, and that's all for this video. Thanks for visiting JD's Regions Preparation.